Oli Vargas for Mint Press News. Now the Bolivian regime is ready to hold elections on May the 3rd. Candidates seem to be in place. However, there are serious concerns about whether these elections will be free or fair. At the moment, I'd argue that they are neither. First of all, the technical organization of the elections is being done in cooperation with USAID and the OAS. Now, neither of these two organizations are neutral organizations. The OAS, of course, played a crucial role in the coup against Evo Morales, and USAID was expelled by him for their role in destabilizing the country in previous years. So both of these organizations have a track record of moving against one of the, the parties that will be standing in this election. Now, second of all, is the issue of persecution of candidates. Now, the, 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 even the presidential candidate of the movement towards socialism, Evo Morales' party, is now a persecuted person. Fake corruption charges were announced against Luis Arce Catacora less than 24 hours after he was announced as the pres a presidential candidate for the mass. Um, Furthermore, the, their first senator for Cochabamba, Andronico Rodriguez, the popular union leader, he has four charges hanging over him relating to sedition and other made up things. He already cannot leave the country, which is why he couldn't be in Argentina um, th this past week to take part in discussions about who will be the presidential and vice presidential candidates. However, it's not just candidates who are being persecuted. Ordinary members of the mass uh, are being persecuted too. Now, there's two members of a digital platform, a left-wing digital platform called La Resistencia. Uh, that, they are Orestes Sotomayor and Alejandra Salinas. Now, Orestes is currently in jail. Alejandra Salinas is under house arrest. And their crime is posting memes, posting memes that were classified as sedition. Now, in this environment, how many people are going to be willing to, to be open about their support for the mass on social media. Social media is a key battleground uh, in, in elections all around the world. Yet one side, the, those who support the movement towards socialism, are being silenced. So, as I said, these elections at the moment are not um, being held in a climate where they can be legitimate, where they can be free or fair. So it's important that we keep talking about this, we keep uh, highlighting the, the abuses of the current government during this electoral campaign um, and during the electoral process because US human rights uh, NGOs seem to be silent about this. The big human rights watch, Amnesty International, have not spoken out about the persecution against the mass during this campaign. Nevertheless, the mass is, is keen to take part in these elections. That's why they demobilize somewhat on the 22nd, because they want to be able to focus on the campaign, which they see as going well for them. They see themselves doing well in the polls. And they, um, they decided that they didn't want to be dealing with social conflicts and convulsion when they could be focused on, on winning the election. And we'll see if, if they are allowed to do so.